Welcome to Live from the Funny Bone, bringing you the best in local, regional, and national comedy from our showroom here at the Easton Town Center. I'm your host, Mo, from Blazer and Mo in the Mornings. And on tonight's show, we have comedian Russ Nagel and the Sierra Mist Amateur of the Week, Justin Camp. We'll be right back. Welcome back, I'm Mo. Our first comedian tonight is America's Funniest Biker because bikers are so funny. At least that's what his website claims. This is the comedy of Russ Nagel. So nice to be here. This is my first time to Columbus. My first time to drive out there on the, uh, first time to drive out there on the loop. I pretty much have eight lives left at this point. <laughs> you people see a Louisiana license plate, y'all are like, <laughs> merge. <laughs> I don't know what the speed limit is on that loop, man. I'm doing 80. You people are flying by me. <laughs> like I'm sitting still. Your police pull me. <laughs> he said, you know why I stopped you? Well, you couldn't catch anybody else. <laughs> I like the police. A lot of comics talk about them. I think they do a fine job. One of my favorite shows is Cops. Comes on Saturday nights on the Fox Network. Y'all familiar with that show? You look like you've been on that damn show. <laughs> Take off your shirt and start running. Let everybody recognize you. They were filming it live last week in my hometown. I was watching it, and all of a sudden, my front door got kicked in. <laughs> all I saw was the back of my head on my TV. <laughs> I know that, dude. <laughs> what are you going to do when they come for you? I'll run like hell. <laughs> not that I would have to. Have you seen some of those cops they have on that show? <laughs> I'm not saying those boys are out of shape. <laughs> but if you're on a foot chase and the cameraman passes you... <laughs> I've been here for two days. What the hell does yield mean here? Just go for it in Spanish? <laughs> uh, man, I like y'all, but I'm surprised at the way you people drive. You don't have more handicapped parking spots. <laughs> and by the way, I was at Walmart today. I caught a handicapped guy parking in one of our spots. <laughs> I'll beat the hell out of you. <laughs> Cannot believe you just applauded that. <laughs> I'm not making fun of the handicap. One of my best friends is handicapped. He's also a comedian. <laughs> He's not really a stand-up. <laughs> Honest to God, one of the funniest guys I know. I love working with him, but I hate to travel with him. For one, I can't uh, ride my motorcycle. Two, I have to wake him up, and then I, I wheel him down. Three, I have to put his chair on top of my van. <laughs> and now I have to stop every 100 miles so I can pick the bugs out of his teeth. <laughs> I drove in from New Orleans. I don't like to fly. Flying scares me to death. I have a friend of mine who knows I don't like to fly. Tried to convince me with this. He said, more people are killed in automobile accidents than there are in plane crashes. Have you ever heard that? Well, that might be true. I ain't never fell 30,000 feet out of my Buick. <laughs> I'm scared to fly. I start drinking at the travel agency. <laughs> That's 21 days in advance. <laughs> And then if I get on a plane, I order like a bourbon and Coke, they bring this little glass. <laughs> uh, no, ma'am, I want a bottle of bourbon and a bottle of Coke. And the last flight I'm on, the flight attendant goes, it's only an hour flight. <laughs> Start me a tab. Because <laughs> I want to be drunk when this thing hits the ground. <laughs> plane would have crashed and blown up. I'd have been the only drunk fool get off. <laughs> I've been in this business a long time. I just went over 19 years doing stand-up, and I'll tell you the strangest thing that happened to me. I was doing a show one time in a very small town called Pikeville, Kentucky. At the performance, a guy on the front row didn't say a word, just stood up during my show, took off his right shoe and his sock, put his foot on the stage. He looks at me, he goes, what do you think of that? I look down, y'all, that man had six toes. <laughs> On my mother's life, I'm not making this up. This man had six toes. He goes, he goes, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think your mama had a tough time with that story. This little piggy. <laughs> You've got one that's homeless. <laughs> and speaking of the homeless, <laughs> hey, I'm not making light of the situation, but my God, y'all got y'all's fair share of those people in this town. And don't get me wrong, folks, I try to help out. My mother taught me, you find somebody less fortunate, you do what you can. A guy came up to me today, I was like, man, all I have is a credit card. <laughs> Dude pulled out a machine. 
You hadn't lived till you heard a homeless guy go, will this be debit or credit? <laughs> it's a debit, and can I get 20 cash back? <laughs> and he gave it to me. <laughs> I broke my middle toe on my right foot about three weeks ago. Does anybody here know what a doctor does to fix a broken toe? People always say nothing. They actually do something to fix it. What do they do? Somebody just said it. What do they Tape it to the next toe. Well, that we all three weeks ago. That cost me $286. <laughs> he taped it to my next toe. I could have done that. <laughs> I'm from the South. I have a degree in duct tape. <laughs> you give me a roll of duct tape, some hay bale, and a wire, and a beach towel. I'll make you seat covers for your damn car. <laughs> Man taped it to my next toe. I walked out of there thinking, God, I didn't break my ankle. <laughs> Stay tuned. Coming up, more with Russ Nagel 